is a demonstration of working with the payment function. For example, you're taking out a loan. We'll type in the information here. When you're doing a loan, there are three components to it. The amount, the period, and the interest rate for buying a car. 16000. I go down here. I type in number years. It's a three-year loan. I want to know the rate. Let's say it's six and a quarter percent. I literally type in 6.25 percent. I'll say monthly payment. Let's type it right. Okay, we're in a blank cell here. We want to insert the function. To do that, we've established all this information already. You could have typed this along as you were doing this. If not, just pause the screen and do it. I want to insert the payment function. I click on the FX. And I go into here, we're using financial. We're going to go down to payment. PMT says what it is here. Okay. Move this thing here just by move by going over here. What cell is the rate? At? Six and a quarter percent. You're paying this loan every month. It's not six and a quarter percent every month, so you divide this by 12 for the 12 in the months. N per, the number of payments. It's a three year loan. Do you pay it once a year or do you pay it every month? We multiply by 12. PV is the present value. To do that, before you click in cell B1, hit the minus sign. If you don't, you get a negative number. Press that. Click on that. It shows $488 in change here. Say OK. That is the loan. The beauty of doing it this way is that if you were to change, let's say, the number of years to, let's say, five, it recalculates it. It drops it. If you're going to buy a more expensive car for 21000 Type the number in. The interest rate changes to let's say seven and a quarter percent. It goes up. Next, just to continue this, you might want to know how much you are spending in total on this thing here over the five years on this loan. I can say total payments. To do that, you would be multiplying the number of years by the monthly payment by 12 in number of months in the year. So it's equal this times this times 12. You don't need a cell reference for the number of months because we're not going to add a month to the year. So that's what they're paying over years, $25,098. Let's say you want to know what the total interest payments are. Type that in. And to do that, you have to subtract what the purchase price was, B1, from the monthly payment, total payments. So it's equal this minus $21,000. person has spent $4,098.40 to finance that car for five years.